Hello and welcome to the show. I am here at the top of Mount Chiliad for some more downhill chaos on GTA 5. My first vehicle today, this is an interesting one. I think it's quite a cool uh, sort of idea for mods. You see a few of these. It's the Felon All Track. It's essentially taken the, the, taken the Felon and changed it. It's kind of a bit like an estate car, slightly lifted. Uh, uh, what was it? The Audi have a similar. I can't remember what the Audi is. It the uh, All Road or something? The Audi one in real life is called. This is the kind of thing that you could imagine one of these fictional car companies uh, doing to a to a vehicle. I kind of quite like the idea, so I thought I would uh, I would give it a shot. Unfortunately, we can't do a flamethrower off the uh, off the start line. Uh, the felon itself, I do quite like the felon. The felon is pretty damn quick, and uh, although we get quite a lot on uh, two wheels through the uh, the first couple of corners with this vehicle, I have to say I was uh, quite impressed with the uh, with the way that it drove. On this first run, I got quite a long way down. Fortunately, I just took a little bit too much speed uh, through through one of the turns, got it slightly out of position, bumped the rock face, and you're not <laughs> you're not stopping it then once you've committed with uh, with that much speed. Yeah, we went for a little bit of a tumble over the over the big jump there, dented the back of it slightly. However, I have to say, I was uh, very impressed with this vehicle on the uh, on the first run. There was, however, a problem that will quickly become apparent. Uh, next attempt, again, got a long way down on the, uh, the second attempt there. The problem is the uh, the center of mass is just a little bit too high on, uh, on this vehicle. It has a like of uh, rolling over. Uh, there's obviously quite a, lot, quite a lot of grip and so on, it falls over really easily. Turn one, turn in, and I've never had a car roll there. Of all of the vehicles I've, I've driven, never have I had a car roll in quite that manner through the uh, the first quarter. The th problem with it was, is that it was actually a really nice car to drive, which gave me a lot of confidence to try and, you know, take a lot of speed through the corners, brake late and so on. But when you did such things, it likes to slightly go on to its roof. This is a place we have seen plenty of cars roll. That's not an uncommon rolling spot. And with this thing, yeah, I tried to take too much speed. I turned in a fraction too early, kind of ro rode the bank on the inside, and that's not at all surprising to uh, to see a, to see a car fall over on uh, on that bit. Second to last corner, the bumps are often a pain uh, around here. The <laughs> This one's on two wheels, gets bumped, stays on two wheels for quite a while before eventually coming back down. That's it's less than ideal. It is less than ideal turning into that corner again. I've never quite had a car. I've rolled on the final corner or the second to last corner here. Sorry, never had a car quite rolling that manner. It's a very peculiar way for the uh, for the vehicle to tumble. Aside from the rolling, though, this was a really good car. I really liked driving this uh, down here. It dealt with the bumps very very well, and being a felon, it's pretty damn quick as well. I've uh, got to be careful with, uh, with the, certainly through that first section. If you try and take a little bit too much speed, you can get it bounced around from side to side because it is very, very quick. Even on this run, you will see, though, I was pushing my luck an awful lot here, trying to take as much speed as possible while not rolling it, and that was that was the key, really. Again, okay, I mean, we're on two wheels coming down there. Got away. Amazingly, I never rolled it at the hairpin. I never clipped the bank enough there to upset it and, and, and roll roll the vehicle over. We're going to 70 miles an hour coming down there. That is some, some serious speed. Again, though, we see it lifting up onto two wheels, and then around the next turn, we are we are okay. I mean, it could carry some really good corner speed. If, they were, if it wasn't bumpy, you could get away with some really decent corner speed. Again, we're lifting up on two wheels. Got to get it settled for the next corner. We didn't get it up onto two wheels through there, which was nice. Again, just have to be careful not to try and take too much speed. Little dab on the brakes before the, uh, the high-speed jump. We could get it all under control again. The, the, the dealing with the bumps and the speed you could take some of the bumps is really quite impressive in this car. You, would, you could keep it all under control without too many issues as we come round the second to last quarter. This time round, not getting bumped up onto uh, two wheels and falling over. One more turn to go, flat out across there, and we cross the finish line, unfortunately, straight into the, uh, into the tree. Yeah, the car was damage-free up until that, uh, up until uh, crossing the finish line. Yeah, I really like this car. It was a really, a really nice car to uh, to drive. Dealt with the bumps really, really well. Perhaps just that little bit more ride height is good for dealing with bumps. The problem is, 
it also makes the car fall over slightly. Uh, yeah, if you can avoid rolling it, fell on all track was really very quick. Up next, we go to an Evo 6, my favourite of the uh, the Evo series. Uh, this one is a uh, replacement for the Sultan. Uh, certainly there was potential for this to go very, very quickly. Also a really cool mod, this one. Lots of different customization parts uh, on, the, on the car. We can do a flamethrower from the... Uh, from from the uh, from the Evo, yeah, this one I was expecting this to be pretty fast. The Sultan is a pretty damn good car. This is kind of the terrain ideally suited for for a Sultan and for the for the Evo replacement. Provided we didn't have any hugely wonky handling from this car, we were we were likely to be okay. I may have got a little bit brave. I'll be honest on the. Uh, on the first run here, uh, damage is pretty good on here. You can see we've completely caved in that uh, that rear corner and lost the front bumper. I got too brave. I tried to take the jump far too fast, and uh, yeah, we uh, we didn't make it. I slowed it down a little bit for the uh, next time. Made it across the jump safely. However, a bump on the outside and a cougar launched the car into the rock face. We we, we came away from that relatively <laughs> relatively well for doing a roll and point and landed pointing in exactly the right direction. But uh, yeah, no, not quite what you want. To be doing uh, again yeah, ran ran a little bit too wide on the um, on the approach through there uh, again once you once you've made that little mistake it may not be immediately that you have a crash but later down the road uh, or a couple of seconds down the road it's going to affect you and you're going to to, to sort of run out of, run out of grip and end up in trouble uh, may have may have clipped some rocks on the outside probably one of the least spectacular accidents you'll have on the mountain uh, that one there I uh, just bounced across the rocks and, and couldn't stop the car from uh, from going round. Now that's fairly commonplace to uh, to have an accident there, just pushing your luck a little bit too much. However, the Evo does roll really well. This thing tumbles spectacularly <laughs> on its way down the mountain. It just doesn't want to stop rolling this car. Uh, I think I counted this. It's about 10 rolls, 10 or 11 rolls. This thing does complete rolls as it goes <laughs> off down the mountain. And nothing I could do was going to stop it. It was just doing, doing its thing. It does tumble very, very well. The... <laughs> The Evo 6, uh, yeah, that was that was a, that was a big off from a relatively small mistake. Again, this car didn't take particularly long to get a a clean run with it. A very very another very nice vehicle to drive down here. Don't have the same problem we had with the Felham of the car wanting to uh, to roll over. Much better handling from the uh, from the Evo and the whole a really quite quick car. And again, we're getting up towards the 70 mile an hour mark. You saw there, I ran the banking on the inside with this. No problems whatsoever. Normally with sports cars and so on, you shouldn't have too many issues. Admittedly, very high grip cars can have issues. You essentially grip roll over that corner if you're not careful. But uh, no, this this car was uh, was pretty much perfect for for that little, uh, that little bit. And uh, yeah, there, there really wasn't a huge, provided you didn't do anything really stupid on the brakes, there really wasn't a huge amount of problems. You see, it deals with the bumps very, very well. Again, much like the Felon, I really liked driving this car down here. It dealt with all of the all of the harshness that this course could throw at it without too many issues, and there's plenty of acceleration and so on uh, in the in the vehicle. Of course, you know, you still got to be careful at some points. You know, we can't take it flat out down here. You simply will not, uh, you will not make it. You have to have a little dab on the brakes, but it deals with that landing very, very 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 well uh, things go a little bit wrong for this uh, for this ending I took a slight bit too much speed down the other uh, side road kind of ended up throwing it across the banking was on two wheels for a long time down there you would never have got away with that in the felon but in the Evo no problems whatsoever a bush sends it slightly sideways just before we hit the line and then and then we uh, sort of spin our way across the line and then we have a big accident yeah the Aside from my little mistake, for the first, or well, most of the course, 75% of the course, 80% of the course, things were going well. Uh, I just took a little bit too much speed down the side road, and for the last couple of quarters, was a little bit, little bit out of out of position, but I kept it all together. Yeah, really nice car, really really nice car to drive. This one down down Chiliad, as you would perhaps expect from <laughs> from a from a rally Evo, and yeah, a really nice detailed mod as well. And our final vehicle for today, it is the Pagani Wara. Uh, again, another really, really cool model. This one replaces the uh, the Osiris, the hikers. The hikers were really determined to get on camera today. And there is some some various mods for it as well, so we can have a silly wing and splitters and so on and uh, so forth. Now, this car stands a good chance of going very, very quickly. The supercars always do, of course. We can get a, uh, a nice flamethrower going from the uh, from the Wara. Yeah, with all of the speed of uh, of the supercars, if it can handle that speed, if it can handle that sort of nicely through the corners and so on, they always stand a chance of going very quickly. On this first attempt, sadly, I um, tried to take a little too much speed and clipped a rock. It's less than ideal when uh, 
when you do that particular one. Next attempt, we didn't even get that far, as uh, I may have taken a slightly wonky line <laughs> through the first quarter, and we just sort of went for a 360 across the rock. I mean, that it, it amazingly kept pointing in the right direction pretty well. On uh, on that one there, yeah, that was that was less than ideal line through the uh, the first corner, uh, carrying a little bit too much speed down this section. I fought it, I got it under control from the landing of the jump. I never thought I was going to save that. Uh, the problem was that I was so surprised that we actually were still pointing in the right direction. I missed the turning to get down the little side road, and that sort of screwed me up completely. It did not take too long at all, though, to get a, a clean run with uh, with it. I think it was only about the fourth the fourth run down the mountain. It's a really good car. It's a really very very good car to uh, to drive down here. Incredibly quick, as you would expect. We <laughs> might have slightly slightly mullered a hiker, but never mind. The curse of the hikers was not in effect today. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely uh, incredible to drive this vehicle down here. I mean, we're coming down down this section. You can get away with so much. You can really push it under brakes. I mean, I was, that was, yeah, pretty much perfect. Uh, the quarter before the hairpin there, sliding it through that, uh, that section. And there's not very many cars that I have the confidence to do that with, but this one has just so much grip. And again, we're taking really good speed. Uh, around that really long corner. There's no fear of rolling this car. You can attack the bumps and it's absolutely fine. Across the jump lands incredibly nicely. And again, even though we're turning in and the car's bouncing around, there's no oversteer from the car. You can just boot it and go. Yes, we do have to have a little dab on the brakes down there. You're going to have to with a car that's got this much acceleration. This time I find, my, find the right line. I point myself down the side road. You can wiggle in between the bushes with no fear in this car. I, never, I didn't have any issues with, uh, with these vehicles today, actually, with the bushes spinning them out particularly. Uh, I was determined to go flat out around the final corner, may have ran a tad bit wide uh, <laughs> and across the line. Didn't quite get the line right for the final corner, ran a little wide, got away with it. Um, just uh, Again, had a crash after after crossing the uh, the finish line there. Yeah, the Wara was really very, very good. Fantastic car to drive down here, really good handling, dealt with all of the bumps fantastically well. We had no issues on them and of course incredible speed from, uh, from a supercar. Yeah, it was it was mighty impressive on its uh, on its way down Chiliad. Maybe a little blood stain from the hiker that failed to get get out of the way. I don't know, no idea where he ended up. He did go soaring into the scenery though, and it is an impressive time from the Wara. It goes into sixth. The only cars that have beaten it were the T20 and the Adder. The Adder though had the top speed mod, so that was ridiculously fast and it struck like super acceleration from that thing. That is a good time. A 120.2 from the Wara is a really very, very good time. Interesting thing though, after this series, the Brawler and Insurgent are still keeping up there with 21.5, 21.6. Those cars, you don't necessarily expect it because they can, they can deal with the off-road terrain. They do really, really well. Uh, a little further down, we find the Evo 6 still Still, though, pretty high up the uh, the leaderboard, a 24-3 from that. It beats the Karuma, it beats the GT3 Aston Martin. It's only 0.3 of a second behind the normal Osiris. That's very fast. From the uh, from the Evo 6, and the Felon All Track also sets an impressive time, a 27-5, putting it just behind the Penumbra and the Dubster and the Blackfin. It's all in the, uh, the the quickest of the road cars section, sort of down there. That's that's pretty good from, from the All Track. I really did like that car. It's a shame about its tendency to roll over. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. All of the mods that I've used, there shall be links to them in the description so you can download them and have a go with them yourself. But uh, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.